Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that earlier. I just simply ran out of time and I couldn't go on. Um, but I'm back and uh, I'll just quickly go over this one more time. Um, as explained, these are the randomized titles. Um, you have the option of self-pinging the page that the visitor is on or a custom ping, uh, page, domain or whatever, uh, URL. And then uh, you also have the option of putting in an RSS feed. And um, if you so desire, you can randomly, uh, you can pretty much put in all the backlinks that you create for your website. You can put them in here and it will ping them uh, on a random basis as well. Um, you can put in your um, IP address in here uh, so that every time you go onto that page, it ignores it, it does not ping it, simply to avoid any pinging spam or anything like that. But you should also know that. Uh, this script is equipped with a 24-hour timer so if the same visitor returns within you know a couple hours or any minute or whatever within a 24-hour time frame it will not ping the page again simply to avoid any um, pinging spam or anything like that so um, it is pretty much foolproof um, very solid very powerful and uh, it's all here for the grabbing for you and um, Okay, so I'll just quickly go under view campaigns. So it'll just the campaign we just looked at. You can click here, edit it. You can delete it. You can pause it. Um, here is a code, pretty much for that campaign. What you do is you copy and paste this code onto the web page, uh, onto the website where you want this to take place. And it, again, it can be on any website. It doesn't have to be the one on the website where this script is on. So let's say you're, uh, you have a dogtraining.com blog, you can simply put this on the main page and every visitor that comes on there will ping um, the links, URLs and everything that you have in the, uh, in the campaign. Um, going back here, you have a stats page, it shows you the statistics, uh, no stats found, um, it simply means that this campaign has not been pinged yet, uh, but it shows you how many times it's been pinged. Everything very detailed. And then um, what's even more cool is you get an RSS feed. I can't show you the link right now, but uh, you get an RSS feed out of the campaign that you just created. And you can take that and, and submit it to any RSS aggregator that you want to, like Pingler or whatever. Um, but again, all these details will be in the report. And uh, I can. Um, I will show you exactly how to best go about it and in the whole nine yards, everything that comes with it. Again, it's just very, very powerful, very cool script. Um, yeah, you really can't go wrong. Um, to go into further detail, uh, I should maybe just leave this out here, but just to give you an idea of how powerful this is uh, for the RSS that randomly is created from your campaign, um, you can control every aspect of it as well. Uh, it randomly takes your keywords, plants them in here, into the description, the RSS feed description, description, and you can randomize the text that appears in the description as well. So it's it's super cool. It uh, it automates a whole lot of work, and and again, it, uh, it it's just super super powerful. So that's pretty much it for the script here. And again, there's. Uh, um, cool guy that comes with it where I, I try to explain everything that go, uh, that I use that has worked really well for me and uh, just some powerful powerful uh, tricks and secrets that I've, I've been doing over over the months and have great success have had great success with so um, without any further ado I will shut this video down and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to having you as my customer